Hey, it's Paul Misty and Canado, the Power Morning Crew, Radio 1 Columbus. Getting set for June. June is Black Music Month, and we're talking about our music memories. My music memory is uh, Rakim. Eric B. and Rakim, Woo! my first song I actually sat down and wrote the lyrics to in front of a boombox with a tape, rewinded it to the beginning. Hit pause! And it went like this. Me and Eric B was cooling, cooling at, at the, the Palladium. Palladium. Seen an old work cover girl. girl. I said, "Hey, lady, I'm sorry if you're in a rush." I love that song. I still love it. If I hear that beat, it still sends me. Mahogany. Um, and my second, like, female thing was um, hip hop influenced my wardrobe when Three Five Seven came out with the little skirt and the shorts underneath and the patent leather shoes. Uh, three, five, seven, get loose. Oh, wow. I love those memories. That was that was the beginning of like the big hip hop movement influence for me. I gotta say, I am hip hop. I breathe it. I live it. But I can remember some of the memories fond to me. The first time I heard hip hop on the radio with Run DMC, Aerosmith walked this way. I thought it was huge. You know what I'm saying? I had to go and get every hip hop CD to eat, or excuse me, back then every hip hop tape that tape. was out. You know what I'm saying? But my most memorable moment in hip hop. Had to be when I heard Biggie Smalls, Notorious B.I.G. I heard his album, you know, saying Ready to Die. It changed my world because not only was he a big man, but he had swagger. From then on, I had swagger. And just the way that he had those lyrical gifts, Notorious B.I.G., that was like, has to be one of my fondest memory. Plus, like, I got a chance to meet him before he passed away. So that was great, too. My music memory is, since I'm a little older than these two, hip-hop and R&B, I'm more R&B because I go all the way back to like when I first started in the radio business. And there's songs that stick out. Songs like The System, Don't Disturb This Groove. I couldn't wait to get it. It had like a 42 second intro. Don't disturb this groove. I couldn't wait for that song to come up so I can talk, do one of my breaks over that 42 second intro. And I thought I was Robert Casanova, another song that just sticks out in my head because it takes me right back to the time when I started in the business that I love so much. Do you remember Ray Charles when he came out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a joke Little Stevie Castanova. Wonder? <laughs> right, no, no, not wow. that far back. I'm talking like the late 80s. That's when I really, uh, you know, think about music. And when I think about artists, it's just so sad today that I still cannot believe that Luther Vandross is no longer with us. Because I can listen to any Luther Vandross song and I can remember I can remember the year, I can remember uh, what I was doing, who I was dating. It's so incredible. And some of the, le in, in the later years, his music me and my wife both love. So uh, I will always remember him. That is my music memory. Well, that's our music memory as we celebrate June, which is Black Music Month. So really, what was your best song? What was your favorite song? Hip -hop I remember Supersonic, Supersonic. I'm some of them, come along with them, along with them, along with them. What? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you said? Some of the okay, what's another song? My Adidas. Oh, gotta remember that remember one. What about Adidas? Wild Wild West? Wild. That was hot. What about I'm Bad? LL Cool J. What about uh, Around Calling Away? on Cars. <laughs> Calling on Cars. Special around Away Girl. I wanted to be an Around Away Girl. I had uh, big hoops and a lollipop, and I would just go to the bus stop. Bamboo earrings, at least two pair. <laughs> Fendi bag with a bad attitude. That was my first Fendi bag. <laughs> you get the gas face. <laughs> 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 I'm some malama, do malama, come malama.